G'day, it's Pete here. We're back again for another weekly free instant tournament. So this is on BBO. Uh, you want to go to Solitaire, then weekly free instant tournament, and uh, we can compare. All right, board number one, pass, pass to me. And I got a 19 count with a five card suit. Uh, so I could consider upgrading this into two. No, it's not quite the right shape. Um, I, I don't, like when I've got a five, four, two, two, I don't mind if it's a minor, but if it's a major, I try to open my major, but as you get like stronger up the ranks, gets increasingly, gets increasingly harder to actually uh, show your, your points appropriately. So sometimes you can do like stretch and do that. So I don't mind a two now opening. Um, I think this is relatively close to the right playing strength, but Putting the spades on the shelf seems too much, and I like my quite good quality suit. So I'll go a spade, planning to rebid three diamonds. Uh, I guess I double. Do I really want partner to bid? Um, I suspect that they're probably making. I think I've got three winners in spades and diamonds. And... Um, I'll double hoping that my partner bids something. Okay. And I get to play undoubled. Okay, good. Yeah, so maybe they're one off. Um, I don't think we've got any club winners. I think clubs are five, two. They can probably trump two clubs, but they'd probably lose a spade and two diamonds or something like that. Um, right, so, hey David, how's it going? Um, I potentially want them not to continue clubs. Um, yeah. Roadrunner said, do you think two-way checkback is better than new minor forcing? Yes, I do. I think two-way checkbacks are excellent. You'll find like nearly all expert partnerships play it. But it does have like an added uh, complexity. So you have to be willing to do that. If you get used to it and do it, I think it's just a better convention. Um, well, I was thinking of false cutting with a jack, but I don't think that's good. I'm slightly worried that West actually has a doubleton club. So an ace of clubs, club over. Okay, does East play a club now? No. Okay, so at this stage, I'm already down. My queen of whatever is fine. I've got like my queen of clubs is high, my queen, jack of hearts is high. Uh, we have the rest. All right, on to uh, board number two. Uh, here I've got a flat 18 count. We'll open a diamond. Two hearts, weak, double. Uh, three hearts. Uh, I kind of wanted to bid four spades. I could say us making a slam here. Partner's got a little bit of shape. Um, partner has a little bit of shape, but does not have spade quality at all. Um, I was thinking like King, Queen, fourth, Singleton, heart. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, here. Okay. So I'm just going to duck a spade. If I play a spade to the ace and another spade, if spades break really badly, uh, we're in trouble. Okay. Spades are... <laughs> I've just got the rest. Um, I can trump. Uh, I've got the rest minus that spade. That's right. Um, I can trump my two diamonds. I don't need to draw any more trumps. That was a weird way to get 82%. Uh, some people are just bidding three spades. Yeah. Like here with 18 high card points, you definitely uh, want to do more. But I'll take it. Uh, 10, 20 points. So an actual two no trump. Yay, two. 
Okay, get a club laid. And... Hmm. I want to work on heart. Uh, the opponents can maybe take four or five spades. I'm hoping for four heart tricks, three clubs, and a diamond. Uh, I could win in my hand and just like lead a heart towards the jack. If they win and push a spade through, it's still fine. I might be able to lead a spade up myself later. I was initially thinking of hopping up with the queen to lead a heart from this north hand because it would be hard for East to win the ace, but I can't really do anything in the long run about it. Um, so I'll preserve my entry. And we'll try the king of hearts. Uh, I could try a low heart towards the jack. It would have worked if West had singleton ace. Uh, again, I was just thinking of preserving an entry, but I really didn't need to. I think a low heart towards the jack would have been better. Okay. We'll take our hearts. Club, club. Okay, all the clubs are gone. And I've ditched a decent amount of spades. Um, I think if I lead a spade here, I always get my diamond in the end, so we may as well take the finesse. I could have considered uh, playing diamond to the ace diamond to see if they play spades for me, but I think they threw enough spades that there's no guarantee that that would have to happen. They had me worried there. I was like, I'm pretty sure I counted that, like, there was some amount of diamonds left. <laughs> but, like, they'd thrown just enough. But, uh, yeah, no, they ran a lot of spades there. I was like, ah, yikes. <laughs> Going up in two, no, that would have been uh, kind of silly. Um, yeah. Uh, here we've got 12. Pretty routine two spade bid, but we just got penalty smashed. The double here by East is penalties. Oop. Sorry. Uh, here, I had this uh, 12 count. So I went one heart past two hearts, and I bid two spades, which went pass, pass, and East doubled for penalties here. Um, so what do we know about high card points? Uh, we've got what five, six, seven opposite my uh, 12. So the points they have 21 points, so it's like 12 and nine, or like 14 and seven. Um, getting doubled here, uh, spades might be five one. Uh, but West is leading the jacket clubs. That makes me think that they've got a singleton or a doubleton jack. In which case, uh, East has three or four clubs. I think I do want to lead a spade from this north hand. I've got a diamond loser, a heart loser, and I need to keep my spades to three losers or fewer. So let's say that spades are 5-1. Okay, so first of all, West didn't lead a top diamond. So they have ace, king, queen of diamonds missing. They didn't lead the ace or king. East probably has one of those. So I don't think East can have like ace, king of spades, king of diamonds or something like that. So I think that uh, if that's the case, the, have they doubled me with just four spades, like ace, king, fourth? Would that give West a singleton spade on him? But then leading the jacket clubs is pretty strange. Uh, I think whatever happens, I want to win and lead a spade. So let's see if this solves my, my issues at all. 
Okay, so my choice is I could lead to the queen, I could lead to the nine, maybe the seven, maybe just duck it outright. So if I think spades are five one, uh, I'm pretty sure West would have an honor. But then, okay, so first of all, if spades are five one and ace is like ace, 10, eight, fifth, uh, does ducking this help? So I don't think he says ace, king, king or anything like that. Uh, so pretty sure West has one of the spade honors. In which case, if it's 4-2. Oh, well, uh, I'm thinking of... I think I just want to duck here, but could be completely idiotic. Okay, I lost to the six. Really fished out a high card there. Um, and let's continue another one. Okay. So it looks like East has ace double turn. Okay, so we win, and now we just keep playing clubs at them, and we're all good. Okay, making two. Another 82.1%. Uh, I'm curious if there's, if putting in any of the other spades matters. What does double dummy say? Do not lead to the queen or jack. As long as I put in the nine, that was good enough. Kind of funny that I can uh, be okay just ducking it outright and losing to the six. Do I, and here I have to not play the queen or jack again. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, I think if I put in the nine, um, I wouldn't have needed to do that. Um, or even the seven, but once I ducked it outright, I needed to play West for a double to honor. So again, uh, one of the things here is, uh, West led the Jack of clubs. I didn't lead the ace of diamonds. So placing East with one of those diamond honors, and I didn't think they had ace king king. Uh, in which case I thought West had a spade top spade. All right, uh, moving on to board five, and we've got a 15 count. Uh, looks like just a one no overcall. Four diamonds, Texas transfer to hearts. Okay. Uh, we have no spade losers. They, we can throw our diamond on a spade. Um, we need, we've got two club losers. We've got some heart losers. Uh, East opened the bidding. So we've got what, five, seven, oops, 15. So that's uh, 22, 18 points missing. West hasn't led a diamond. The robots sometimes do that, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah. All right, so I get an extra discard here. Um, in no rush to do that. Ace, Jack, 10, seven. So I've got, what, three heart losers? Huh, okay. Um, Do I need, I think I need something like a singleton king of clubs or something. Uh, 
Uh, so I've ditched a club, now a spade. Jack of diamonds. Uh, so I can throw one club away. Queen there. Okay, so East has uh, King Jack 10 of diamonds. Ace Jack, I could have counted how many diamonds I've got. Uh, Anyway, um, I think Singleton, King, and East is the only layout I can make. But, uh, we'll cash there and just lead a club back. And they get their club. So we're down one. 89%. People are going more off? What are they doing? Uh, they're not getting rid of their diamond quick enough. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, another good result. We're at 73%. I don't feel like I've done anything particularly good. I guess board four getting that suit combination right, but I don't even know if I got it right, but still super interesting hand. Uh, here we're on board six, and this is an amazingly powerful hand if we find a fit. Um so we'll start with one spade. One no. I guess I bid three spades. Like, I'd be wary of bidding three spades if it wasn't strictly forcing, and it probably wasn't. Um, for me to make slam, like, imagine partner with ace, queen of diamonds, and the king of hearts. That would just be like 12 easy tricks. Uh, I wish there was like a better way of doing that, but um, here I think there's just too many hands where even f four spades might go off if partners have got like ace, king, queen, and clubs and no entry. So I'll leave. I don't think I have any safety at the five level here. Okay, uh, so I've got. <laughs> they basically don't have any other points, but that singleton heart is uh, vital there. So uh, we need to trump a heart. Do I go ace, king, of clubs, and then rough a club? Or do I rough a club, rough a heart, ace, king? I reckon. Well, I, I could go ace, king, of clubs, stitching a heart and a diamond, and then just lead the jack of diamonds and see if I can guess diamonds. That's probably best. Because I don't think I've got a good entry to my hand to rough the other heart. And we've got the rest. Another 82%. Yeah, they, they could have put me to the test here by continuing another club. I would actually have to trump that high. Um... Couple of people bid six spades, a few people went off. How'd they get there? You just bid one spade, four spades, which totally reasonable. Um, the reason I didn't was I just briefly thought four, three spades was forcing in the robots description. And your partner just like moves on. Like six spades is a decent spot, but it's, you just need to guess the, the diamonds. Yeah. All right. Second last board. We're at 75%. We've got a 12 count. Four, three, one, five. Start with the club. Partner's got four spades. Um, three diamonds is forcing here. So I can pass and then bid three spades. 
Um, well, four diamonds is a pretty silly spot for the opponents to be in, so we can just pass. They're in five diamonds, and I've only got 12 points. I got must have some wild distribution. Uh, I kind of want to double this. I got my two aces and my partner's bid, but they don't need any tricks. But like my thoughts are this is a best hand tournament. So they have like 12 and 12 and they're at five diamonds um, and they haven't found a heart fit. I'll pass, but double I think. That was my instinct of what I wanted to do. So let's see if partner's got the ten of the king of clubs. They do! Hooray! Yeah, sad face. They they're roughed. Uh, so just waiting to see if my partner has some miraculous diamond trick, like ten fourth or something. They have a heart void. They don't have any more losers that they need to get rid of. Nope. Well, glad I didn't double. Twenty one per cent. So if you just bid three spades uh, and show like a stronger hand than what you have, the eight four is just like, okay, great. I know partner's got a singleton diamond, but yeah, I just can't bid five diamonds anymore. <laughs> like they're just cold for 11 tricks, but I think bidding three spades, it's like tempting. But once I saw that their bid was strictly forcing, I was like, well, what's it going to do? Uh, like I'm on lead against diamonds anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, right. Final board. We've got a 12 count. We can compete to two spades. There were two past hands trying to bid a no trump. Like, you can sometimes consider just trying to penalize them there. Uh, West overcalled a diamond on King Fifth. And East has the spade stopper. I've got some interesting pips in spades. I could play East for like Jack 10 or, or the, uh, um, okay. So my nine and Jack are high. So like I could lead the nine of spades and just run it. Uh, I can also like take a roughing finesse in hearts. Or I could play like a diamond to the nine and try and throw my club away there. Uh, I think I want to take the heart finesse anyway. So they didn't take the last club. Okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> Our clubs are blocked. All right. So I don't know why I got 82% there anyway but uh yeah finish with 69 i think that was like relatively consistent um board number seven i'm not worried about that in the slightest board one i think was an interesting choice but outside of that it just seemed like all these like good like average plus scores and we finished with uh, 69 percent uh finished in third position but uh yeah uh hope you all enjoyed uh, this week's tournament thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time yeah.